Hey, welcome to What Is My Grow Kit Doing? Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful oyster kit that grew from the top of the kit, actually. As you can see, it kind of wanted to do its own thing, and that is okay. And a lot of times we need to listen to our grow kit in order for it to work properly, and it's really easy to do so. Um, you know, some of my instructions will tell you to cut slits on the side of the bag and sometimes that works and other times um, maybe it was sitting in transit too long but sometimes the mushroom will actually start making primordia and making mushrooms from the top of the block just like you know something like this that you got it you made cuts on the side but it started growing from the top we don't that's not a failure it's actually just another way to grow these mushrooms so we essentially liberated we opened the top of the bag up and we let these mushrooms grow and we watered them and we gave them the fresh air that they wanted and uh they're now perfect to harvest and how we know they're perfect to harvest is that the caps are just starting to flatten out and that's a good indicator that they're ready to harvest because we don't want them too flute-like because they start making a lot of spores. But once we do harvest these from the top, we can actually reseal and just tape up the bag from the top like my um, instructions originally say to do so. And then we can make the cuts on the side of the bag. So this is just an example of if we have mushrooms they're already growing from the top what we can do with them and is our kit ruined and it definitely isn't we just need to be a little bit more creative and so we let them fruit fully from the top of the bag we harvest this we clean up any you know residual growth so see this growth right here this is primordia that essentially just didn't uh, turn into fruit so we'll cut that off as well and just make sure that it's super clean and we'll seal up the top of the bag with some tape roll it down so it inhibits any future growth from the top and then we'll cut little slits on the side as um, my original instructions will tell you and why we want the mushrooms to grow from the side is basically two reasons one if they grow from the top this offers a lot of rate of um, evaporation, so we want to limit that. So that's why we do want to grow from the side. And we're essentially mimicking, so when we make a cut on the side of a bag here, or on the side of a bag here, we're mimicking this being the tree. That in theory, this bag is the bark of the tree. We make little cuts and the mushrooms are going to emerge from where we made those cuts. And so we're just trying to mimic that. So yeah, don't be afraid if mushrooms are trying to grow from the top, just liberate them. And then once you've harvested them, you can uh, seal up the top of the bag, roll the top down, just like you would in my normal, regular instructions, and then you'll make cuts on the side. Sorry for the loud noise. It's a beautiful morning here in Rochester and we got the school bus going. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.